Hi class, today we're going to do a video on how to zip up your project to prepare it for submission to the class Dropbox. So I have opened a very simple project that when executed would output a message to the user to say hello world. We'll pretend that this project is something that we would want to zip up and send through Blackboard. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you've saved the project. I want to encourage you to use save all either on the menu strip or file save all and to avoid using save as. Save as inside of Visual Studio is very misleading. It will save your module1.vb file to a new name or location, but your project in its entirety consists of many other files that are working behind the scenes, including project properties, solution files, and so forth. So save all is the best policy when saving your project. If you actually do need to move where this project is saved, the best policy is outside of Visual Studio to find that folder and to physically move it to a new location. If you don't know where your project is saved, you can find it by right-clicking the project name in the Solution Explorer window and clicking Open Folder in File Explorer. This will open up your project files. You can see there is a module1.vb in there that has your programming code, but there are many other files and subfolders here. If you click on the parent folder, we can see that we were inside a subfolder. There is also a solution file, which Visual Studio uses to organize this solution. To send the project to me in its entirety, we need to go up one more level so we get to the top level directory for this project. This is what we want to zip. So we're going to right click, send to, compress zipped folder. I might receive an error. Um, this is actually great that I ran into this because um, there are times where you may also encounter something such as this. I ran into a error when I tried to zip. It actually gave me a file not found or no read permissions. Um, I believe that is because I have Visual Studio still open, so I'm going to go ahead and close that down and try it again. Now we can see it created a zip file. Notice the little zipper icon. And this is the file that you would then attach to the Dropbox when making a submission. 